Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to set up your own DPS mileage calculator form. This is something I've been frustrated with for a long time and I decided to solve the problem um, so that I could have a spreadsheet that calculates all of my mileage and puts it into a format that I can submit um, and I don't have to worry about it. So I created this short link um, very easily uh, to go to which is bit.ly slash DPS mileage and if you go there, it'll take you to a view-only spreadsheet um, that you can use. And all you need to do from there is follow the step-by-step -step process. There are 10 steps, but I'm going to show all of them. And they are linked in the spreadsheet itself as well. And all you have to do is uh, first, the first step is make a copy. So I'm going to make a copy, and I'm going to call it My Awesome uh, Mileage Calculator. Um, and I'm going to say OK, and then it'll open up my brand new uh, spreadsheet. And then I'm going to just keep on going down the steps so that you can see each one and how they work. So once it's made a copy, you'll not only see um, you know all the regular menus, but you'll also see these two. And so step number two is to run the initial configuration for both Form Ranger and for Form Mule. And so I'm going to do both of those. So I'm going to run this one, and it says it needs authorization, and we say great. Um, I'm just going to accept it because I need it to be able to do all of those things. And I'm going to run it again so that I can get to the uh, actual menu. So this is what you want it to look like right here. Um, if you run into an error, it's not a big deal. You just need to make sure that the actual menu options come up. Um, sometimes you have to run it, you know, even up to three times in order to get it to, to fully go through the, the full process. Um, but what you'll end up with uh, after you've run it a couple of times is the, the menu options that we're going to need later. So now that it has set up both of these menus so that we can actually do something with them and it doesn't just say, you know, run the initial uh, configuration, we proceed to step three, which is assign the form items um, uh, to the right columns. And what this means is in the form ranger, I'm going to assign the form items to the columns. What this means is it's going to pull from all of the things that you have already typed in the form um, as you type them in. It's going to pull them uh, in order to be able to use them later. Um, so what we're going to do is take the question of where did you travel from. We're going to say populate those from my spreadsheet. And I'm going to choose the form ranger fields because it matches up. So I'm going to populate it from unique from and to. So it's going to take only the unique ones so you don't get all of these duplicates. I'm going to do the same thing with the where did you travel to question. So it's sort of matching up the form and the spreadsheet. So we're going to do the, that one, and then I'm going to do the same thing, but with a different uh, set of uh, columns here for this question, which is, what is the purpose of your trip? So I press the Save Settings button, and then he does his little dance um, behind the form, um, and then the, I proceed to step number four which is set the triggers for the form refresh. And so this means that every time you submit the form, every time the spreadsheet gets edited, every five minutes, it will update all of the options um, within those questions, which makes it really easy. Now we need to go into the form mule, define where we need to pull things from if we need to use form mule. Um, so we want to set it up for the form responses. Okay, Save those settings. And now it gives us a whole bunch more options in our form mule menu. And all we need to do is when we, now we're on to step number six. Okay, so go to the advanced options. And what we're going to do is choose copy down formulas on form submit. Now we're in step seven, which is to scroll over and select column H right here. And then to cho choose this checkbox to paste those values. And what this is doing is it's um, taking the distance, the driving miles, and it is, every time you submit the form, it's actually doing the calculation of how many miles it is from your uh, origination point and your destination point. And so you save those settings, it does this little formula kind of thing, and now we can proceed on to step eight, um, which is two things. 
The first is going into the form responses one and changing your home address. Um, so you're going to leave the my home part, but you're going to change your address to be your actual address. I'm not going to put in my address because it's the video. Um, and then you change the office location to your actual office. Um, and so you can, you know, change it to anything that you might like. Um, and then uh, even if you if you have a, a different reason, a uh, different purpose that you want to be one of the options, you can change that as well. And it'll do its recalculation and you'll be able to see that. And then you're going to go over to your mileage template and fill in all of the important parts. So I'm in teaching and learning. Um, you know, my name is, whoa, you got to spell it right. Like this, you can put in your employee ID, your address, all of the stuff that's required. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make a duplicate of this sheet for the month that you actually want to track. So I'm going to do it for, um, let's go with July of 2014, which is the month that just ended when I made this video. And so I made that happen, but uh, right now this still says um, uh, January, right? So we need it to say July. So you just change the month and the year for this particular thing. Um, and now we're actually all set. We're ready to move on to... Um, the uh, the last step, which is filling out the form. Um, but if we want to make it a little bit easier, I can actually go ahead and delete the instructions because now we're done with them. And I can actually uh, hide the form ranger fields because um, that's not a uh, part of the sheet that I actually need. So I'm just going to go up to form and go to that live form. And now I am going to choose the month of reimbursement that I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to say, Let's go with, uh, this was um, in doo -doo 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 -doo, July, right? And we'll say this was on July 4th, okay? And we see that these are options right here. These are uh, the two options we have of my home and my office, uh, but I'm gonna choose other, um, and I'm just gonna choose an arbitrary um, uh, address, and we'll just say that this one is for testing, um, and then this one was for from that location to my office, and for another reason, I'm testing this thing out. Um, and I'm going to hit the submit button. And you'll notice if we hop back over into our lovely uh, calculator that the, the form response just came in. We have that calculation of um, the number of miles that went through and you'll see that it actually changed from a formula where this one is a formula right here um, but this one changed just to those numbers which makes it nice and easy um, and we'll see that on July it populates our lovely spreadsheet um, and so all I have to do in order to submit this uh, to somebody is to download it as a PDF and I can go like this um, ba -ba 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 -ba. export it as our lovely PDF and what we have is um, my form um, it calculated the um, the total amount right there and I can submit it uh, as my reimbursement I hope this is something that might be useful to you um, and uh, let me know if there's any way I can make it better